uh, thanks so much for coming to the show. And uh, can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Hi, I'm Danelle Dixon. I'm the executive director and the CEO of the Stellar Development Foundation. So we focus on the growth of the Stellar Network and the ecosystem at large. And I have heard that you had a really two exciting press releases that just came out. Uh, can you share what's there about with the audience? Thanks for asking. This is such a great day for us in terms of really demonstrating what the value of blockchain is all about and really creating those on and off ramps to the network. So the first one is that we have been working with MoneyGram for uh, several, like the last year, really focusing on bringing the cash to digital. So cash to crypto and crypto to cash. And so MoneyGram has 400,000 locations globally. And we really think that the awesome part about this is it allows you literally to use your wallet. I just did it this morning, or I did it yesterday, uh, right up the street here, and to use your wallet to say, I'm going to go cash out some of my digital assets, so USDC, and I'm going to convert it into cash. And so I can send it to the, I can send the, use my wallet to send it to the MoneyGram location. And then I go into the MoneyGram location. It literally took me two minutes to walk in with my ID, to walk over to the, the, um, the kiosk, to type in my reference code, and then to get my cash out. So this is like just a hugely new frontier. It's actually the thing that we've always promised with blockchain is that we would get to the unbanked or the underbanked. But you had to have a, a credit card or a bank account to get crypto assets. And now you don't. You can use your cash. Yeah, that's, a, that's a that's a super uh, huge. And what about the the people in a third world countries? Do they have access to the same service? Uh, does, does geographic location matters, or anybody can Great access? Great question. That? And I probably should have said this. Today we're launching in four countries that are um, cash in and cash out, and that is the U.S., Canada, Kenya, and the Philippines. Um, so by the end of the month, it'll be global cash out. And then also by the end of the month, we're going to focus on growing the cash in network so that we'll have, and I'm going to just look down for a second and say Brazil, El Salvador, Argentina, Hungary, the UK, Ireland, and Poland. So they'll all be on cash in and cash out by the end of June. And then again, we have global cash out by the uh, end of June as well. And then we'll just continue to grow there. And the other announcement that I didn't talk about, but it demonstrates that it's sort of the next thing, is that lots of, uh, we think, lots of financial players are going to want to come in and be able to leverage this kind of sort of similar thing where you can get cash and, and, and generate your opportunity for your local wallet providers to provide utility for uh, the consumers. So CoinMe, we announced today that CoinMe is actually working with us to be able to use their 20,000 locations in the U.S. to be able to purchase Stellar USDC, which is awesome because it's a great payment methodology for uh, using the Stellar, because Stellar fees are so low, Stellar USDC is awesome. Well, what an amazing day for you. And everything is a part of the foundation, am I correct? Can you talk a little bit more about your actually foundation and the, the system behind it? Yes, that's so, it's one of the other things that I love about how we do this is that we're a nonprofit, non-stock entity, so we don't have, we're not beholden to anyone except for the fact that we have a mission, and our mission is all about creating equitable access to the global financial system and so this is what everything that we all the assets that we hold we put into the growth of the ecosystem the growth of stellar and then the growth of all of the players that build on top of stellar so we sometimes we give grants sometimes we just really focus on policy issues so as a foundation we're just really really wanting to bring uh, crypto and blockchain to the masses. And we think while payments isn't super sexy, it is really the thing that is going to bring blockchain to the masses and deliver the value that we've always promised with blockchain. And uh, what is your like, ne what are the next steps? What is the, your like near term future? And if you want to talk about more of the vision going forward? From my standpoint, this is actually the thing that why I came into this space to, to think about the fact that we talk about the unbanked and the underbanked. And there are more than 2 billion people globally who don't have access to the traditional financial infrastructure. They're de-risked by banks. They are don't trust banks. There's lots of other uh, reasons why they can't get into that. What we're allowing through this integration, and this is such an awesome thing that MoneyGram has put together because they're actually doing it for free. So that's going to be a no fees for the first year, which is awesome. So if you think about the ability to be able to send value to your family, to take your cash, convert it to assets and send that value to your family, the initial step, which is very, t which is very costly, which is getting the, your value into crypto, that's going to be a free step getting your value off of crypto, that's going to be a no fee step. So this is going to be a great way to introduce this to folks. So we're really excited about that. We're super excited about the CoinMe integration. And then from our standpoint, we've been focusing on on and off ramps since 2016. It has been our key focus. We think that local builders are solving the problems in each region. That is exactly what we love about our global network is that you can use that as a platform to build 
but you only you know which problems need to be solved in your region. So we're not going to tell you that in Kenya you need to be able to have this and that utility. So the most beautiful thing is is that all these wallet providers can offer the utility that they want and still leverage these on and off ramps. So it's super exciting to us. This is like such an awesome day to be able to do that. When I did it last night, I got goosebumps at the fact that we could just take the cash off and put the cash on the network so easily. So it's just a really fun opportunity. Um, what's the next step? What's the vision for the in the future? We're continue on and off ramp focus because that's what we do. We also have still, we have smart contracts that are going to be built into the network by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. That provides more liquidity for the network so that you can actually make sure that payments are, uh, are going to be able to stay strong and valuable on the network. So more and more folks that we want to bring into this space, but also we want to make sure that there's things for them to do and value that can, can create to them. So it's a uh, sort of like this is the the new frontier this is just the beginning we're going to even grow this more and more and we just love for everyone to be along with us on the journey well thank you so much and uh, thank you so much for being there and, and helping to serve uh, the communities that uh, i really need your help um, grateful i think we're all grateful to you for doing that anything that you want to uh, say to the audience as a conclusion so first of all it's an honor and a privilege for us to be able to provide this this type of technology we actually aren't the ones who are solving the real problems. We're providing the technology stack so that others out there can solve these problems. We think local builders are the, the best to be able to do this. And so I'll just say that we want to continue to support them. So if you want to reach out to us at partnerships, it's .stellar.org. It's a great way for us to get connected so that we can help support your journey. Thank you so much. That was really beautiful. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.